Well, guys, every time there is a mass shooting. The Democrats like to go out there and they love to virtue signal. They always scream and it's right on right on point for them. They always say we need Congress to pass common sense gun control. They say this every single time. In other words, that just means they want to violate your constitutional rights because these leftists, they don't believe in the Constitution. They don't believe in your right to bear arms. They want to restrict you actually having a weapon to protect yourself. They do this every single time, guys. Now, remember last year, Joe Biden and uh, sellout Republicans um, actually help the United States government actually violate your constitutional rights. I believe it was um, 17 Republicans, if I'm not mistaken, that voted along with the Democrats to restrict you actually having access to guns. Remember that? Yeah. Now here in Texas, Texas, we are a sanctuary state for the Second Amendment. We actually have constitutional carry here. And that's the way it should be across the nation. If you actually look at the Constitution, it is pretty clear. But Democrats want to violate your constitutional rights. That brings us to uh, one Roland Martin. Roland Martin is definitely a leftist. A leftist. And now he has a solution to all of the mass shootings that actually do happen. Now, mass shooting, by definition, is when um, four or more people are killed, not including the person that actually uh, pulled the trigger. That is a mass shooting right there. He has a solution, guys. And his solution, as you would think, is absolutely nuts. He actually said the only way that we're going to solve this problem of mass shootings is to wipe out Republicans. Yeah. Wipe out Republicans. That is his solution to this whole thing. And then I guess he wants our Democrats to just uh, pass sweeping legislation to disarm every single American. But we know, guys, the problem is, is that the only people that's going to be armed is the criminals and the government. You won't be able to actually protect your home. I mean, some of these states, guys, is so crazy that if a criminal uh, breaks into your home, I'm talking about in some uh, Democratic run states. Criminal breaks into your home. Guess what? They don't want you to fire back. They don't want you to actually protect your property. That is the problem. But let's go ahead and uh, listen to uh, Roland Martin here in this clip, guys. This doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But I'm not surprised. Let's roll it. Here, how do we break this this cycle? I mean, every I mean, it's not like every two weeks, my friend. It's like every other day we're having these stories now about mass shootings. The only way to change any of this is to completely wipe out the Republican Party. Somebody has to say it. Greg Abbott, the governor, is sick and demented. He has literally done nothing. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, the leadership, uh, Republican leadership in the state, they literally have done nothing. They have ignored the Uvalde parents. I was at the Texas Capitol uh, a few months ago uh, where they were rallying there. They are not going to do anything. But here's also what has to happen. People of conscience are going to have to stop sitting at home and saying, oh, we want something done. In the last election, 75 percent of all Texans under the age of 30 did not vote. And so the only way to change this is to move these people out of office. There is no other way. And so, yes, we've seen what they've done when it comes to voter suppression. They want to remove voting locations from college campuses. But the way to counter this, you have to take these people out of office office and put in people who are going to pass the laws. That is the only way, because it is clear they are not going to change the laws because they are so in love with guns and so in love with the Second Amendment crowd, they do not care to see bodies piled up on the sidewalk. Change comes when you change the leadership. Julian and Rollo will stay here. 
Yeah, so that's uh, Roland Martin right there, guys. That is Roland Martin. Wipe out Republicans. That is the solution that he has. This man is making no sense whatsoever. Zero sense. Now, some lunatic out there may actually uh, take what he said as violence and actually go out there and try to commit crimes. Yeah. Yeah. Because he said, wipe out Republicans. Well, guys, look at this right here. On this site right here, this shows you the grades for states when it comes to um, their gun laws. Right here. Now, I'm in Texas. Now, they're going to give us an F. But, of course, in the People's Republic of California, they give them an A. Well, it's very, very hard to actually, you know, get a weapon, get a firearm, even though it's your constitutional right. Illinois, A minus. And the People's Republic of New York, A minus. Now, guys, how many videos have we done on this channel where we talked about gun violence in Chicago over the weekend? They have very, very strict gun laws. And guess what? Criminals are still shooting up the place. Crime was at an all time high, I believe, in uh, 2021 in Chicago. But Roland Martin says that um, Republicans are the problem. These three states run by Democrats. Democrats right there. And guys, just um. A few days ago, look here, five people injured, one killed in shooting at large party in Chino, California. This is on CNN right here. CNN. Six people were shot, including 17 year old who has since died at a party, large party in Chino, California overnight, according to local police. At around 3.26 a.m. on Saturday, Chino police patrol officers were dispatched to an address of a large party in progress. According to a media briefing by the um, police department, officers found six individuals between the ages of 17 and 21 had been shot. The victims included the 17-year-old girl who died, a 21-year-old man, who was admitted into an area hospital and is in stable condition with non-life-threatening injuries, a 20-year-old man who has been discharged from the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, and a 19-year-old who was admitted into an area hospital and is in stable condition with non-life-threatening injuries, an 18-year-old man who was discharged from the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, and another 17-year-old girl who was admitted into an area hospital and is in stable condition with non-life-threatening injuries. This is California, guys. This is Gavin Newsom territory. Democrat. This is his state. His state. He's running that. That is a Democrat. But Roland Martin says Republicans are the problem. See, the thing is, man, it's not a necessarily a Democrat Republican issue. I believe that destroying the foundation of the family in this country leads to stuff like this. A lot of these people come into crimes out there. They come from unstable homes. But yet they don't actually want to solve the problem. Democrats, every single time a mass shooting happens, we need common sense gun laws, which solve nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now, remember this, guys? Remember this Um, a year ago? Wednesday night marks one year since subway mass shooting in Brooklyn. That is in New York. New York City, New York State, run by Democrats. But, however, this um, scorecard here gives California an A 
for gun laws. New York, an A- minus for gun laws. They're doing the right thing. But yet, gun violence is still happening over there. One year since that mass shooting over there. In case you guys need a refresher here. And this is from April last month. Says Wednesday marked one year since the subway mass shooting in Brooklyn. Prosecutors say 62 year old Frank James unleashed a smoke canister before opening fire on a crowded train in Sunset Park. Ten people were shot and wounded and 20 others suffered other injuries. James pleaded guilty in January to federal terrorism charges. He's facing life behind bars. But to Roland Martin, Republicans are the problem. Republicans need to be wiped out, according to him. This sounds like he's actually inciting violence here, guys. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. This is a dumb statement. It's a reckless statement from Roland Martin. Once you fix the family, guys. You're going to be able to solve a whole bunch of problems here in this country. I mean, the left, they really don't like men. They don't like men taking charge. They're not promoting any type of family values. Family values is the key. Keeping the family intact solves a whole bunch of these problems, guys. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.